I mean, I would say that in our allocation, we're neutral on U.S. equities because the yields are so strong in bonds. And so I think that's where we have a preference. Uh, and, you know, what could go wrong? I think there are many things. It's still uh, very tricky. The I the idea that we're going to get to a softish landing uh, with some bumps along the way, I think it's still possible. Uh, but many there are many issues around. And one, you know, we see now the market waking up to the fact: hey, the economy is stronger, and that's sending longer-term bond yields up, and that may bite in, and it may cause the slowdown to accelerate. And of course, the Fed. Uh, the big bet here that everybody is making is that the Fed, as the economy slows, as inflation falls, they will time their moves correctly. And that still remains uh, a difficult prospect. Mark, we've been having this debate about real yields and whether we stay elevated for longer. As a result, do you want to take duration risk at this point? Uh, Look, I don't, we think that they're going to come down again. We think that this is uh, partly summer trading, but also a reflection on, yes, the U.S. economy uh, remains strong and it's probably going to be stronger than a lot of people thought. But as the inflation falls and, and as the Fed continues to make sure that uh, growth doesn't accelerate too much, you know, we see those yields coming back down again. So actually, uh, you know, I think as the Fed gets closer to being done, we would be looking to continue to add to exposure and bonds and try to lock in some of those yields. Um, you talked about the elephants dancing right at the top of this. And uh, one thing I want to add to that is cumulative and lagged. Now, I want to just reference something you said. And you said, look, the, the real wage increases are shrinking. And you also added that the, you know, there was a bit more of a squeeze going on on corporate profits for all the reasons that we've discussed in this channel many, many times. Are these the starts of those cumulative and lagged effects um, that, you know, the, the Fed has referenced many, many times that people have said, well, it could take 12 to 18 months. So are we beginning to see the foothills of the problems that could arise uh, from this extreme tightening, as you say, for the first time this aggressively in 40 years? Well, you know, in the in the first half of the year, you had the the accumulated savings being spent down. You saw these these real wages shrinking, and then you saw the co corporate profits coming down. But now we've actually, after Q2, it looks like we've gotten through some of that. And so that really is the question about what what happens from here. Do those trends? keep the consumer uh, and, and and the valuations for stocks at levels that they can continue to go higher? Uh, or is it now these lagged effects of the, the hikes that have come in really start to bite and that trend gets nipped in the bud? I think, I think that's why we're more neutral on stocks right now and still prefer to, to hide out a bit in yields and in bonds uh, as that starts to play out.